And somebody said he's working 18 hours a day. Jack Reed blamed me for his heart attack. Come on, give me a break. This guy's going to work 18, 20 hours a day no matter what. That's what we do. You know, I did that for years. Hungary fronts on both Ukraine and Russia. Pray for our President Trump as he listens to God and does what he says. The FBI is now opening files on all MAGA supporters, all Trump supporters. Bill Barr is a fat pig. He's a slob. He's a fat pig. These uh, members of, uh, of uh, both the House and the Senate get compromised by sleeping with children. And they, and, they're, and, they, and they compromise. And these are real things. These are very real things. The mainstream media welcomes these mass shootings. I got rid of Comey. I got rid of the FBI top guys. I got rid of them all. Boy, oh boy. If I didn't, I probably wouldn't be standing here talking to you. From the DOJ to the FBI to the ATF, and I would defund every last damn one of them. I mean, you literally have paid actors who are pretending to be killed or pretending to be treated. Where I have Republican colleagues of mine that don't have the stomach or the courage. I also don't think Hamas is a fan of the sex workers, but you know, what do I know? Uh, and what they hear is, uh, is gonna change uh, everything, Mike. Right, what is- You know, we had one whale in 10 years get washed up ashore in New Jersey. Now they, they're coming up every week. That The entire world is watching this and they're laughing about what's going on. I would encourage the other side to not so lightly throw around the idea of innocent Palestinian civilians, as is frequently said. Uh, I don't think we would so lightly throw around the term innocent Nazi civilians. Roughnecks used to come into my restaurant and I knew that it was going to be a good, successful, profitable day. You of Robert E. Lee. This is an outrage. So just to clear up a couple of things, my colleague mentioned the founding fathers. Robert E. Lee was not actually one of the founding fathers. He was a general of the Confederacy. <sighs> I was promised a smoking gun, and if I deliver a smoking gun, you have to admit that gun is smoking. You know, I'm an extraordinary athlete. If you are socialist, you're anti-Semitic. Does that mean that if Russia attacks my country, you will not be there? That's right. That's what it means. I will not protect you. And I do not believe that these protests are, are, are organic. I believe that they are being funded by radical organizations that have infiltrated our government and infiltrated our country. And I think that George Soros is behind a port. Not doing well. They're not being treated. And they are, they are right now at a level, I think we're going to get, so we're at 28. This is a different Donald Trump in 2023. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's got the same uh, energy. I don't think he's got the same pizzazz. Sioux Falls, thank you very much, Sioux Falls. And thank you. So Sioux City, let me ask. Too many Republican leaders are lying to America, claiming that the 2020 election was stolen describing January 6th as an unguided tour of the Capitol and asserting that the ensuing prosecutions are a weaponization of our justice system. This is, I call them the J6 hostages, not prisoners. I call them the hostages. Why do we need him right now in this country? Because he keeps his promises on everything. Yep. The $35 trillion in debt, we're going to pay it off. We're going to get it done fast, too. The DeSanctimonious came to see me. Would you do it? Tears in his eyes. Nobody would even believe it. I don't know if he was wearing those same boots. And first, what the f is up with those boots, bro? <laughs> How the top of the boot literally almost touches the bottom about three inches in. Like, that's just weird, folks. Uh, you know. What they're trying to say with this is that in your boots, you have heels. No, no, no. That's yeah, what they're no, trying those, to say. Those are just standard off the rack. Uh, uh, this is no time for foot fetishes. You're allowed to use the word pig, but not fat. America first policy and Christian core principles. It seems like Republican young Kim would rather stand with Rashida Tlaib uh, than stand with me because she kicked me off committees but doesn't want to censure Rashida Tlaib. Donald Trump is on the path to victory and the swamp is desperate to stop him. The New York Post used to be so good, but not anymore. We have to get it back. We're actually doing really good. Uh other than the fact that I don't have any more money. And we're in a tough time right now because I'm military struggling to actually put a, put, put a group together. I do hope to pull the impossible and maybe something that's never been done before, hosting a radio show from a federal prison. This will be my, my discipline to come in here and, um, and uh, seek the Lord's guidance for what we do each day. Nikki Haley 
sided with Disney over yes. Florida. Um, had some fun in the process. I think even the judge found me uh, perhaps a little bit amusing uh, on this thing. Uh, and the windmills now are all breaking down. Do you see what's going on? First time I've seen it. But I just went trick, trick or treating with my kids and it was like, you know, the low that evening was 29 degrees. So the temperatures change. All right. Uh, temperatures have been changing for the millennia. A gentlewoman from Mexico seek recognition. From New Mexico. Hamas, has anyone ever heard of Hamas? I should have worn makeup. I object. The objection is heard. Madam President, well, that was a, a, another downgrade of readiness for America right there. There is not enough time to go through the litany of lies that Mr. Santos has engaged in. Okay. More and more black Americans say we got to have Trump back. Do you think Donald Trump is going to respect a gag order? He doesn't see a gag order as a threat. He sees it as a challenge. I'm fighting tooth and nail to clear my name in front of the entire world. So is Putin. They're loving it. How dumb can we be, man? If he were president of the United States, Hamas would not have attacked Israel. I really believe that. Putin wouldn't invade in Ukraine because they're afraid of the guy. So they're not going to fool me. Sheeta also helped lead an insurrection just a few weeks ago. There's a move on now. All boats have to go electric. Army tanks have to go electric. To the statue of Robert E. Lee. This is an outrage. This is exactly what they do in communist countries. Donald Trump will be found guilty by a jury on a felony offense next year. That may or may not happen before you vote in March. Who's our real enemy? It's not Ukraine. It's communist China. We are all going to be made targets of surveillance by an agency of our federal government. The anti-Semitism and pro-terrorism. Ter uh, what, what you're doing, the terrorism is pro- On Russia, Ukraine, it's pretty simple. Do a simple peace deal that's reasonable, okay, that says the Russian-speaking regions that are already occupied, we're not going to fight a war with a major nuclear power in the form of Russia over that region. They get that deal. We will rout the fake news media. We will rout them. I want people to see the evidence that I've seen and make a decision for themselves. Do you believe the evidence against Donald Trump? Which puts evidence. All I mean, that. No matter where you believe it or not, Senator Turbeville, this is doing great damage to our military. I don't say that lightly. I've been trying to work with you for nine months. Georgia, that would be over the election fraud. I, yeah. I, I haven't seen the evidence yet. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Our first restitution check from Sidney Powell. In California, they just hit $8.15 a gallon. Pay for our wall. You know, they tried to work that. But they paid much more. They paid for our soldiers. And uh, the vice president doesn't seem to have a firm grip, grip, uh, uh, grasp on basic. We need to set up a new legal defense fund for any Florida presidential candidate to use when they are targeted by politically motivated prosecutors. You know, if Donald Trump can summon the balls to show up to the debate, I'll wear a boot on my head. So again, my colleagues saying, oh, don't worry, there's no problem, no readiness problems. No offense, but that's just ridiculous. And he knows it. We all know it. But tell us. Yeah, we had a very strong day today. Uh, there you go. That, that's us. Right here in the swamp and the sewer of Washington, D.C. Welcome. We are living in a banana republic. The Republican Party continues to, uh, you know, rely on this lie that the 2020 election was stolen. And Jamaican-born Obama donor Tanya Chutkin, who calls herself a judge. The, the only reason I ask is you, you criticize the president for his confusing policy. No offense, Governor, I'm confused by what yours would be.